Hey guys, it's LD from Neurocentric Health and Fitness. And again, breathing. Breathing through the nose versus breathing through the mouth. We have learned two different techniques, how to unblock the nose, and there are still questions coming in about no, none of them is help. So I'm gonna show you what I use when everything else fails. Um, I am a big fan of this Breathe Right Strip. You can get it at CVS or Amazon, anywhere you like. Get the good brand. Um, I prefer this over the CVS brand. It's probably a dollar more expensive, but the quality is much better. So what it looks like individually when you take this out, just looks like a band-aid, pretty much. Just have to open it and this fan-shaped, uh, butterfly-shaped thing comes out. So what I would like you to do is, um, what I will do in here is, I'm gonna tape my mouth so you won't hear me talking. And I'm gonna take a few breaths in without having the nose strip on my nose. Listen to the breath. Listen how labored the breath is without the nose strip on my nose to open up my sinuses. Of course, I'm going to have to exaggerate a little bit this because I already opened up my sinuses with the unblocking technique. But I just want you to feel, you to see and hear. Actually, you could turn your head away from the camera and really just listen to the breath. Because I do need to give you this um, um, this information, this thing could really, really help together with the unblocking techniques of the nose, the two unblockings, the two different videos. I'm gonna try to attach to this one so you can have all in one um, in one place, or you could just always jump onto the YouTube channel and find them, or the previous email blogs. So I'm gonna tape my mouth. I won't be able to talk. I'm gonna take a few breaths, listen to the breath, and then I'm gonna put the nose um, strip on to see and hear how well that changes the laboring of the breath. So here we go. I'm gonna take the tape off from my mouth and I'm actually gonna leave this one on because it feels really, really good. And as I could hear, you probably could hear, as soon as I put the Breathe Right strip on, there was no noise, no extra labor, there, is, there was no hard breathing. So there is more air going in, the sinuses are open and the breath goes deeper. I could feel the belly expanding better then the chest, a little, you know, a little bit of diaphragm moving down. So definitely, definitely grab some of these. I have always one in my pocketbook next to my bedside table in the office between clients. Um, that is a great way to open up the sinuses. And what I don't have right now on me, but I have it at home, is the neti pot. You can buy that at CVS and a little bit of rinse through the nostrils that is always helpful. So that could be a routine before you go to bed to clear your nostrils so your breathing will be better while you sleep. You would add some extra help to your recovery, to your cellular recovery. And you could also do this in the morning when you wake up. I meant the breathing strip while you have in your breakfast because while you're having your breakfast, you can't tape, really tape your mouth. Um, let me know if you have any questions. These things are great. These things are all natural to do before you actually re re um, reach in for your um, inhaler. Have a great day. Bye.